G'day guys, how's it going? Right, this video is me installing this Moto Mounts chin mount for the old GoPro onto my Bell MX-9 Adventure um, helmet. So what I have been using, this isn't actually mine, because I've, I've only just got onto the old GoPros. I used to have the Sony on the side. This is Kent's uh, chin mount, which I've been using. It works really, really well. Uh, these are really cheap off eBay, I believe. Basically, that just goes on there. These little buckles loops around, ties in, and holds that firmly. This thing does not move. Once it's on there, brilliant. It's removable, brilliant. But there's one fatal flaw to it, and that is I can't, because the strap goes over that, it just leaves it just that little bit. And I think it makes this helmet quite noisy. It wasn't a problem with air coming in or anything like that. It was just made it noisy. So someone, and I can't remember who it was, so you'll know who you are. Thank you very much. Put me on to Moto Mounts which um, are in New Zealand. I don't know really much about them. Apparently it's, hang on, where's my short lookers? Uh, is it Callum? It's got, hey Mark, thanks for your support. Ride safe, Callum. Put that up there, boom. So he just personalized it by doing that. So I believe he 3D prints these. You can get them on, so on his website, I was just on his website, which is, I'll put the thing up there, motomounts.co.nz. So I'm saying he's doing this in his backyard. I have no, I'm, I'm just making, making this up, but I'm presuming he's doing this in his backyard. So I'm quite happy to do a review. This wasn't given to me. I've paid and I've got my email there. Ended up being 54, 65. So $43 for that. And then $11.46 shipping, so $54.46 Australian dollars is what I paid for this. So 3D uh, whoop, printed uh, little doodad there, if we can see that. It's got the 3M, you know, that super strong stuff. I've used this plenty of times. It works fantastic. So I have no problems with this stuff uh, sticking on. So there's that. Obviously we get I don't know, I don't think this one's, this must be just a part that he actually gets in. So that's like an extension. This one does not look like it's 3D printed. Um, and then a screw, which is obviously something that he would buy in um, as well. So, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and he's got, he's got the little, can you see that there? Moto mounts, bloody uh, cut into it as well. <laughs> I was gonna say something and I don't know what the hell I was gonna say. It just doinged in my head and then I went, I don't know. Oh, that's what I was gonna say, yeah, so. Um, he does, these are custom, so if on his website you don't see your helmet, you can send him a, uh, or send them a thing saying, hey, this is a helmet I got, can you, are you able to make one to suit that? Right, that's what I was trying to say. Um, so that's what we get, that, these two little things, the instructions on how to do it, and the little package that comes in and a bit of an alcohol wipe. This is a note to Callum, put your bloody website on there. I know it says uh, Moto Mounts is Instagram, oh Facebook, leave a review. It's got all this, I'm an old fart. Give me just a simple website. In actual fact, on your website, I went to your website, because I must have done this on the phone, which I'm kind of like going against what I'm going about, about to say, is that I've gone to the website and it's actually, it's not a, a, a desktop website, it's a mobile website. So it has the little three things to do the menu. And yeah, I just thought, felt that, thought that was strange, but maybe that's the way things are going these days. So many people are just using their phones. Clearly, that's how I did it. I'm going to use uh, some wax and grease remover just to give it a good clean because this is pretty dirty. Um, 
and then I'll use that alcohol wipe. So all we've got to do is clean up the area where that's going to stick. Now it says in the instructions uh, that you find the position where it goes. Because I, I was bloody looking at it and I'm turning it upside down and sideways and thinking, which way does this go? There's no interest, not telling me how to do it. But I figured it out. So you, you figure it out before you take that red stuff off. So you, you know, you put it there and you go, oh, which way does it bloody go? I don't know, is it up there, is it down there? But it's once you go, once you have a bit of a look at it and you go, okay, Mark, you're being a bit of a dick. It's, you can see where it goes. So if I just get that over, hang on, what I'm gonna do, let me just clean this up one, get this bloody stuff on it. Try and do the right thing. I'll use their little alcohol wipe. Wax and grease remover will do the job, but we will do what the instructions tell us to do. Make sure it's all clean. Clean, dry, do not put my fingers back right on. Right, so we should be all pretty good. So how this is gonna go is I can see that cut out there follows that line around there. So if I was to sit that right like that, and then I'll look down here. All right, let me see if I can get that in. So there you go, it sits on there, and then I flip it over. Oh, stop moving it around, Mark. And then, oh, can you see that, guys? Hopefully you can see that. So pretty low profile. Uh, he also said to, it says in there, once you've done all that, you've cleaned it, you've worked out where it goes, get a heat gun, warm it up. Don't burn it, obviously. I reckon that should be enough. Peel the sticky off. Right, now we've got to whack this on out. Oh, I'm gonna try and do this for you guys, but then I've also got to make sure I do it bloody right too. So now, if I get, oh, you gotta be, get it so, oh, hopefully I got that pretty well right. If I didn't, you know, I just, oh. Oh, well, it'll just have to be what it is. And I reckon hold this down for three minutes. I'm not gonna make you guys wait, so I'm gonna turn you off and then come back to you. Rightio guys, nearly three minutes later. I've got it on there. And correct, I did not get it directly straight. That's the joys of trying to do this stuff in a hurry and in front of a camera. So now I should be able to, oh, and that's another thing too, isn't it? Look, so when that sits down, so, no, oh, it looks pretty good. So I wonder how that's gonna work. That in there. Cause this is a, sorry, what I'm trying to do is, it's like when you mount these, you gotta make sure you mount them and like when you've got the wire in there, that um, those wires, so that when you put your helmet down, it's not crunching on the wires and it ends up creating a weak point. So, if I chuck. Boom, there it is. Now, it does say in the instructions to wait a full 24 hours. Um, but I just don't want to bloody wait. If it comes off, that's my fault, but I've dealt with this 3M tape and it's brilliant stuff. But wait the 24 hours, don't do what I do. Um, so there you go. So this mount actually, they've, they've catered for the lens being to the side. So they've off-centered it so that the lens ends up being directly in front, which is a good little thing. Let me have a look at it. Yeah, so that's all right. I reckon that's pretty good. My little wire will still go in there. The only thing I don't like in that is that bloody thing. This is the thing, you know, they're making it as compact as possible and not intruding, but they're just 
it's difficult to get your hands on that little ring. So I think that's as far back as I can go. So hopefully, yeah, I might have, that's where this might come into it, where you've got to add the second one so that, because if you know, normally your helmet's sitting on it, you know, it's down, you always think it's not like that. So I might have to put that on to be able to get that to come back a bit further. Let me come back to you. Rightio guys, so yeah, I put on that extra one. So now, if you look, obviously I've got to do, I've got to put it on and then I'll do some filming to work out exactly uh, where the best spot is. But now I've got lots of, uh, I can have it all the way back down from the bottom. And then from there, I can then just turn it if I need to tilt it so that when it's like that, when your helmet's on your head like that, this is actually looking directly ahead, if you know what I mean, and not pointing down at the ground, which is quite annoying when you have video footage. Um, so, so that's it. Pretty bloody simple. Um, you know, it's not as cheap as the stuff that you'll get off eBay, but it's not mass produced. It's custom built. It's done by um, a bloke like you and me in New Zealand. For Australia, New Zealand, that's our brothers. So um, supporting a, uh, a local bloke, I reckon that's good. There you go. I'll see how it uh, travels. I'll let the guys know, you guys in Man Cave Tuesday videos, how it's going. Um, obviously, you'll see it on videos anyway. Righto, there you go. Keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.